Hey, it's Noel Christopher coming to you with another video real quick. I usually do these in my car, but to be honest with you, I'm not really driving around too much. Not taking the kids to camp, not really doing a whole lot of uh, driving around. And since I work remotely, here you go. This is a video from the front porch of my house. Recently just was on a webinar that John Burns from uh, John Burns Real Estate Consulting put on. It was great content. And it was really talking a lot about the, in the housing economy, home builders, you know, everything's pretty robust. There's a lot of cracks in our economy. There's a lot of things going on. Um, there's some spike in uh, coronavirus cases in some states. So we're going to kind of really monitor how that goes. But that being said, a lot of the issues in the housing market is really in the lower end of the renters. So you've got multifamily or even single family that are the, that are the rents are 1200 and below. That's where you're seeing a lot of the job losses, a lot of the rent displacement that really isn't affecting at this time the broader SFR economy. And so that's why we're seeing such robust interest in this asset class. And we're working on a couple of things I've talked to you about previously. We're working with some home builders on taking some of the more affordable starter homes and putting them for rent. And I'll try to share these numbers in the comments. If you look at the home ownership in the sub $250,000 range, the home ownership rate is actually a lot less than in the um, the overall home ownership rate. So that's interesting to look at. One thing that's come up is that we're really seeing a lot of interest from 1031 exchange buyers. And these are a lot of buyers coming out of these more urban markets that were in the commercial markets, let's say, for example, Manhattan, where they're wanting to get out of those markets. They're seeing a lot of people move out. I think the last numbers I saw during coronavirus, approximately 430 or 25,000 people moved out of New York City during coronavirus. And then if you add in the riots uh, that are happening, uh, there's a lot of disruption happening. A lot of people are getting out of their commercial real estate and they're putting it into single family rentals. Why are they doing this? Rents are strong. They're going to stay strong. They may go flat a little bit for the remainder of the year as far as not hitting that three and a half percent rent increase per year, but they're still not going to go down. If you look at the last recession, rents actually did not even go down wholesale. There's some markets that got hit pretty hard, Phoenix, Las Vegas, some of those markets. And they're also having a little bit of flat rent again this during this time because of the makeup of their economies. But when you get into more diverse economies like, the, like Dallas, Atlanta, Florida, things like that, their rents are staying strong and they're, and they're going to continue to stay strong. They just may not go up as aggressively because you see landlords, they have a good tenant. They're wanting to keep that tenant in place. So they're not pushing those rents. You're seeing more people renew rather than move um, on the rentals. But what you are seeing is a lot of people move out of the urban areas. And with the people that are moving out of the urban areas, so are the investors. And they're going into uh, single family rentals because they're seeing the cap rates at work and they're actually able to buy at a little bit uh, at a more of aggressive cap rate than some of the institutional investors because they are able to zero in. They're coming in from from multifamily or commercial where it has historically low cap rates. Um, you're talking New York City, you're talking cap rates at two and a half, three and a half, four percent. So when they go into a um, single family rental portfolio that's at five and a half or five, they're okay with those numbers because they make sense to them. And as long as you can have the operational efficiencies, which we're really starting to see happen more and more in this space, and that's something not to toot our own horn, but that's something that we've, we've been very much involved in is, is pushing down those expense ratios by becoming more efficient operationally. That's going to cause people to want to buy at the lower cap rate. So all of a sudden, when we've seen these people that own only wanted to buy at a high cap rate, now move into buying at a lower cap rate. We're seeing a lot more action, a lot more interest. And we have a couple of large portfolios that we're looking at in Florida. We're working with home builders around the country to sell their more affordable homes and get them in front of these smaller investors. And then also are coming these larger 1031 exchange investors, which I would call a mid-tier or mid-cap investor. They're not uh, the institutional fund. They're a little bit more seasoned than your small investor, but they haven't been in the SFR space until now. Exciting news. Just wanted to get that out to you. Please comment, uh, share, you know, let's, uh, let's do some business. Thanks. Bye.